Baseball is on the air. Should be a good one here this afternoon between the St. Louis Cardinals. What's up, guys? It's Rich Gamer 997 here. Tonight we're back on MLB The Show 20. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave me a like, make sure to leave me a comment. Pivotal game for two division rivals. Let's play. Next. The show. Freddy Peralta gets the ball in game three of the series. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, you can't always judge a pitcher by the numbers. I know the ERA is into the fours coming into this start, but he's actually a pretty solid pitcher. And every once in a while, he can throw some decent games in there. It's not easy having an ERA under four in baseball. At the plate, Richard O'Neill, and what a season he's hurt. having. Entering play, leading the league in two of the three triple crown categories. This guy's got a big shot at the triple crown. He's leading in two of the three categories and top five in home runs, so that's where he needs to pick it up. First pitch coming, here it is. Hard hit ball to short. Turner fields it cleanly. And he'll make that play look <coughs> easy. It wasn't that hard hit, then Turner to cut it off. Stepping into the box, oh, Richard O'Neill. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got on, burner guy. wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself <laughs> with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him shit. successful. Some power of swing that was. Top half of the sixth about to get started, and at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Richard O'Neill. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Go, 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 go. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he will make it there as the Cardinals get a man into scoring position on the leadoff double. So quickly into scoring position here following the opposite field double. And as you see there, he's currently pacing this Redbirds team in that category. Runner at second now. Nobody out. And that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Ronald Guzman. Come on, Guzman. Now a pickoff play at second. And he'll get back in safely. <coughs> Fucking Turner. The one-two. Popped him up. Hiura over to his left. One down. Anthony Santander, the oh, next Santander. He's Santander. over two Santander. in the ballgame so far. Anthony. <laughs> now is the time to pick it up. One and two, here it comes. Hard hit toward the hole. And that's through right, right, the right, left right, to base right, hit. Right, right, the right, throw right. to the plate. Ah, but the throw is well up the line, and he scores easily. Dan, I'm blown away. He even swung at that pitch, let alone got a knock in it. Well executed change up down Santander. the zone. That was a really good I'm pitch. He doesn't about. put wood on this. This ball might even <coughs> bounce. A terrific pitch and a great job of swinging the bat. What's the play ball? Out. Ball four. Take the base. Three. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Trey Turner is working on a one for three thus far. High fly ball out to deep right field. Looking up is the right fielder. Out of here. Into the visitor's bullpen. So that was the third home run for these guys today. Yeah, man. They're pitching. Suck ass. We're talking about their pitching. we be talking about our pitching. Digging in, Richard O'Neill. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an AB, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Boy, so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the inside half of the plate right there. Try to bust him in, D-Row, and he fights it off the other way. Yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like. A knock's a knock. A swing and a ball to left field. That's going to get down for a base hit. Throw comes in quickly here, and that'll prevent the runner at third from testing things here. Everybody's going. Good job. 
Boy, there's a bullet base hit right there, but you have to hold there, Dero, to make sure that gets down and isn't caught for a line drive double play. Yeah, you have to play the game right there and respect the infield and respect the line drive. I know he wants to get a ribby for his buddy, but that's the way the game's played. Let it fly, let it fly right here. And he popped, oh, he popped him up, up. Shit, over shit, toward shit, the shit. left go side back, of the go infield. Back, go back. <laughs> camps under it, and he's got it for out number two. <clears throat> Settling in now, Jonathan Scope. Two for three with a double Come on, on his Jonathan line Scope. so far. Jonathan Scope. Grand Salami will be one, good one here. Home. Hit hard uh, on the ground is short. And that oh, is here, through here, 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 in the left field. A base hit. Ah, but the no, throw will be well up the line yeah, as he scores easily. Boy, talking about coming up with a big knock. After that pop-up, it looked like the inning was potentially over. Big two-out base hit to drive in a run. Yeah, you watch your teammate in front of you miss his pitch. He got a nice pitch to hit right there and pops it up. You could tell he was dejected as he went oh, back hell. to the dugout. All you're Come trying to do hell. is be a great teammate. Count on Sean you. Casey always used to say to me, hey, d oh, mix in a good teammate out. one time. That's exactly what this guy did. The 0-2. Got him. So the damage winds up not being as bad as it could have been. As the Did exactly what I didn't ask him to do. He struck out. Standing in. Not like I didn't James see it coming. No, I was just hoping that he wouldn't strike out. <laughs> Here it comes on nothing and two. Skied into very shallow right. What the fuck? Why is he running away? Around first, digging what the two. fuck was that? Why did he turn around and run different direction? Wow, he must be living right because he gets absolutely jammed. Into the box, Luis Urias. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. The one two. Lifted in the air out to right. O'Neill is there and he puts this one yeah, away for the doesn't... third out. So a great oh, job there of working out a potential trouble. So Brewers strand a couple. They hold games. a seven. To... The next to bat for St. Louis, Richard O'Neill. He singled his last time up. Yeah, just another simple single to the outfield would be a big one right here. Don't try and do too much. You know there's a potential base open right there. And the runner from second is in to score. That makes it 7-6 to six now. Dan, from a pitcher's standpoint, that's a backbreaker. Two out, two RBI base hit right there. Awfully frustrating. You're trying to make some good pitches. You get two outs, and all of a sudden you give up that big base hit that drives in two. Frustrating for a pitcher. Here we go. No one now, Next will be the cleanup hitter, Ronald Guzman. Last time through was a base hit. Quick check on that tying okay. run at first. And a dive, but he's back in. O'Neill is off of first with two away. And again, a throw. No, and he has to dive, but he's back in easily. He's set. Here's the 2 2. This is line to left. Ray is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Two runs on three. Here now is Trey Turner. He went deep Stop earlier, and he's two for four to this point. The last at that, Matty B, we heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second oh. out. Four, four, take your base. Three. 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 Oh, he came back and defeated them. Yeah, and that's just a punch to the gut of the whole man. <laughs> Watch their team came back and won. The then they can't get it done at the bottom and come away with a loss. And this one concludes at a 10 to 7 score. The cards came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. Jordan Hicks wins his fourth game out of the bullpen this year.
Giovanni Gallegos hammers down the save his 25th of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. John, let's go for the five. No errors. They left three for five. On base. Garcia, one for five. A home run, three RBIs. For the Brewers, seven runs on 14 hits. No errors. They left 12 men on base. Cubbies. Cubbies are doing well. Afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the St. Louis Cardinals and the Chicago feel. Cubs. As October draws nearer, the race for the postseason intensifies. A pivotal game for two division rivals. Next. Jarrell Cotton will be on the mound for the series opener. Seven, Dan Plezak, what's the word on it? ERA. Hey, we're like a bad. real solid starting pitcher right here. You take a look at that ERA, anywhere between three and a half and four, but I'll tell you what he does know how to do. He knows how to get people out, and he can minimize the damage. He knows how to control the running game. He does a lot of things right, and if he does all those things, expect a... No, I think he's having now batting bat in Richard O'Neill and what a season he's having entering play leading the league in two of the three triple crown categories this guy's got a big shot at the triple crown he's leading in two of the three categories and top five in home runs so nice. that's where he needs Inside. to pick it up the wind up and the 0-1 lifted down the line and left and that will end up a foul ball And he connects with it. This one's hit deep out to left center field. Hap has to retreat to the track, but he has it to retire. Right at the warning track. Not even on the warning track. Digging in to try it again, Richard O'Neill. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. This is line to left. And it's the Cardinals that'll strike first here, and that base hit makes it a one nothing ball game. So he's able to come through here with two away, and that's a good time to check out our RBI leaders on the league leaderboard. And as you can see there, he in fact leads the NL in that category. Cool, you're doing it in the second. Diego Torres. Come on, Diego. For him here in the third. Garcia on second. O'Neill at first, two out in the inning. A swing, and this ball is blasted to right field. Nothing's going to keep this one in the ballpark. Into the bleachers, and gone. <laughs> Dang. 
23 home runs. So it's a three run Diego shot is to doing good. Right field. I don't Number even remember how many home runs I have. Far. I think it's like 25 and with it, or something. The Cardinals have increased their lead four to nothing. <laughs> if that much. It looked like he might know. just work out of that inning only giving up a single run, but it all comes crashing down on that mistake. Nothing like a three run bomb to change the entire complexion of your day on the mound. Easy velocity, 100, 422 feet. Oh. I don't even know what I do when my wrist is hurting. Digging in the switch hitter, Ian Happ will swing it from the left side right here. It's very difficult being a switch hitter and very rarely. Here's a fly ball well hit. Going back is the right fielder. Gone! You never count Chicago out, that's for sure. You ain't win 60 games for nothing. <laughs> hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows. And just like that, they're down by one. <laughs> Coming to the plate now, Jacob Zanin, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. The one two. Now a swing and a ball lofted down the right field line and fairly deep. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. Franco is on his way home. He comes across to score and the Cubs have tied it. It's a 4 4 game. And they took the lead. At the plate, Richard O'Neill. He came through with an RBI single in his last at bat. O'Neill. On a line, that's a base take a look, hit. Take a look. As we take a look at the pitch count, you can see that it's not that high. But you have to wonder maybe if the heat is taking it out on this guy a little bit. The weather can be the great equalizer, especially when the temps are starting to rise like this. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Diego Torres he comes in one for two with that uh -huh. he hit earlier. And he is tagged out. Stepping up to the plate, Richard O'Neill, runner in scoring position with Sugan. O'Neill. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. This is hit the other way out toward go, left go, field. Go, 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 left go, go, fielder go, go, go. giving chase. He tracks nah. it down, and that will end the inning. I didn't even expect it to go that far. It, so in now for Chicago. Could feel that it wasn't a good hit. Was working on a one for two game so far. Wasn't a solid hit. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Right fielder giving chase. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. <coughs> Cubs strand a couple. This one. Riding in once again, Victor Caratini. He's working on a Victor. one for three thus far. Here it comes on nothing and two. Skied into straightaway right. Long run for the right fielder. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Play ball. Three. Three. Out. Four, four. Take your base. At the plate, Richard O'Neill. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. And he gets ahead 0-1. Hey, your turn. Drive him in. Keep it going. Behind 0-2 now. This is a tough guy to turn two on. It's got to be hit hard. If you're an infielder, you've got to catch it and get rid of it quickly. Hey, big mama right here. We need you. Here we go. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Zanin will have plenty of room as he makes the catch, and there's a big out number two. Let's play ball. And this afternoon's closes at a one-run game, seven to six today. The Chicago Cubs seal up their 30th win at home on the season. Here now is our final line score this afternoon. 
First for the victorious Chicago Cubs. Seven runs on nine hits. No. We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the St. Louis Play ball. That's ball four. Three. So here's the cleanup hitter, Richard O'Neill, as the switch hitter will take his cuts left handed here. Really doesn't matter what side the plate of this guy bats from. He hits very well. He hits right handed pitching very well, swinging left handed, and swinging from the right side against lefties. The numbers are quite the same. Oh, he snags it out of midair, and that ends the inning. So they pick up no run. Coming to the plate now, Richard O'Neill, and he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. First pitch on its way. Here's a bouncing ball headed to the second, and the two-out threat will not come to pass. A breaking ball is crazy. So two on with two away, and okay. that'll bring in DJ LeMayhew. Second baseman, DJ LeMayhew. Skied into straightaway right. O'Neill is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Cubs strand a couple. We'll head to the... Into the box now, Richard O'Neill. He'll swing it from the left side right here. And this is the side of the plate this guy loved to hit at. Hitting over 350 left-handed, hitting against right-handed pitching. A one pitch on its way. Sent on the ground out to second. Gloved by LeMayhew. The throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. All right, so time now for the Cubs' road to the show report. The batter, number one, shortstop. Hit the other way out toward right field. O'Neill is under this one. And he will make the catch, so that'll do it. Stepping up now, Richard O'Neill. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. Hit in the air to left field. <laughs> I got all underneath Zen that one. Is there one quick Power 115, really my ass. Your attention, please. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Jason Hayward. Pulled high in the air out to right field. And Hayward's now 0 for 3 so far as he's retired again here for the first out. Let's play ball. He's out. Now with the plate, Richard O'Neill. He flew out in his last at bat. Richard. Oh, High in the air out to center field. Oh, what the fuck? Why am I keep getting underneath it? We'll get there, and he puts it away to retire the... He was swinging underneath the fucking ball. Now at the plate, Jacob Zanna has got a chance to end this one and send these fans home happy if he can get a ball deep enough into the gap. Lifted in the air to right field. Right fielder giving chase. He gets there, and that's the second out. Let's play ball. Three. Three. Out. Now in the box, Richard O'Neill. Right fielder. Richard. Here comes the first pitch. 
Way oh. behind that pitch, it's 0-1. Yeah. He's going to step out of the box, adjust his bat and gloves, and pray he gets the exact same pitch as that one. Because if it comes again, we like to refer to what that the one in the biz That's some bullshit. As a mixer. What the hell so is going on? on? Skied into straightaway right. Hayward has a read on it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. So that'll bring up Jason Hayward. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Hayward. Fly ball out to straightaway right. O'Neill is there, two down. Let's play ball. Wow, that game flew by, but that's what happens when you get a well-pitched one-run game. Both hurlers battled, and the it's almost a shame somebody had to lose this one. <laughs> For the victorious Mudhead, three runs on eight hits, no error. And they left for six seven. in that game. That sucked. MLB the show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. A... Play ball. So coming to the plate, Richard O'Neill has two hits in 11 trips for the series so far. O'Neill. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Line drive to left. Wow. Well, pretty much right at the left fielder is he no fucking power at all in the swings, man. That shit is crazy. Like you think by now they could write a fucking update, and so when you hit the ball, you actually hit the ball with power. Andres Jimenez, and he's seen his numbers on the rise. But the only thing they update about this game is the fucking cards they add to it. Other than that, they don't update anything else. O'Neill is right there as he takes it for the second out. So stepping in, Richard O'Neill. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Richard O'Neill. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. But gloved by the third baseman for the out. That's some bullshit. Let's play ball. So one got in the inning here the with a runner at first. Two. And that'll bring up the left-handed bat of Dominic Smith. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. But he's going to get there as he runs it down on the warning track for the second out of the inning. Play ball. Ready for another chance. Richard O'Neill as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. First pitch coming, here it is. High oh, chopper to third. Chase that oh, and it ball. eats him up a bit. He dropped it, Donnie. <laughs> Digging in now, Diego Torres. He'll swing it from the left side right here. Well, if you're looking for pop, he definitely has more pop. More home run potential hitting from the left side. This is his power side. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. So striding forward now, Dylan Carlson. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Now a changeup hit on the ground to shortstop. On to first, and the Redbird rally goes for naught. As they Even though I about the run. So digging in now, Richard O'Neill. Already the beginning of the seventh inning here as this game has had a very brisk pace to it so far. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Whatever, I don't know why I'm picking one. Those. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Slap hard the opposite way. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. 
So the innings underway with the Cardinals getting their leadoff hitter on base. Yeah, he's got the outs when he's needed him and seems to be really comfortable pitching from the stretch. Hard to keep that up over How several innings, though. The first baseman, Diego. Oh, this is hit to third. Will it be two? To second for one. On to first, and that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball game as there are quickly two away now. In now, Richard O'Neill. He singled his last time up. Here comes the first pitch. Starts him with a good rising oh, fastball there. To Nine strike nine one. Now a fastball Osuna right a there. Reliever known for forcing contact. Oof. Not a huge strikeout guy most of the time, but he also doesn't issue it's a lot nice of free slurve passes. Ball either. right there. On the first, and this will remain a tie ball game. Stepping in, Richard O'Neill. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. And this is sliced hard down the left field line. And now it'll kick around in the corner. One run scores. Here's a second runner around third. Safe at the plate as they push the lead to four to two. Boy, we thought this one was going to go way into the night. That is a big base hit here in extra innings to give them the lead by two. Yeah, Dan, you know as well as I do. It gets to the extra innings. Everybody tries to go deep and end it with one swing and a bat. That's a nice job to stay within himself and drive in a pair. Now batting. Striding in, Diego Torres. Diego Torres. He ain't doing good today. He's having a rough day on the plate. The one -one. Oh, five. Slap hard the oh. opposite way. But quick hands over there at third as he takes it for the second out. Throw back Damn. to second, and that's a double play. <laughs> Stepping in, Jacob Zanin. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Jacob. The Cubs are down to their final strike here. Hit the other way out toward right field. And he'll make the catch here to end it. And the Cardinals have taken the rubber match of this three-game set as this ball game is over. Hey, it took them an extra frame to do it. But, hey, they're not going to complain as they lock up a nice road victory here in 10 innings. 4-2 to two, the final score today. St. Louis pick up win number 60 this year. John Brebbia gets the win in relief, his sixth of the season. Giovanni Gallegos closes the door for the save, his 27th of the campaign. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious St. Louis Cardinals, four runs. Well, guys, that's going to do it for me tonight. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave me a like. Make sure to leave me a comment. And, yeah, please don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload or if I stream. And I will see you guys in another one. Remember, wear your mask, wash your hands, stay safe, and be kind to each other.